Just before we jump into today's video guys, I should let you know that the Xbox Grand Tour Club has been made so you can go and join this in preparation for the launch of Forza Horizon 4 this week. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Forza Horizon 4. Another short video today as I am yet ever so busy since I've only just gotten back from the holidays but still this is an easter egg video. Today we're going to be looking at a game that you may remember on the original Xbox Project Gotham Racing. Now there's a racetrack in Project Gotham Racing that actually takes part around Edinburgh. So I jumped into Forza Horizon 4 to have a look at the Rivals events in, you know, hopes that perhaps there might be the same circuit. And lo and behold, there it was. Edinburgh Princess Street Circuit. So here's some gameplay from Project Gotham Racing. I will leave a link to the video that I found this on down below. I didn't want to use all of it, so I've cut it up into little bits and bobs. So, as you can see, this is uh, pretty similar, actually, to what you may have seen in some of the Forza Horizon 4 live streams. Now, we're going to jump into some actual Forza Horizon 4 gameplay in a second. Annoyingly, you can't use any particular car for this Rivals event. It's only uh, an A-Class super hot hatch, something like that. So, I chose the uh, Mercedes A-Class, and uh, we're driving now up towards the castle, and it's a bloody brilliant track this at night. Well, I say night, it's more dusk. You can really see the reflections and the colours really pop and, and burst to life in this game. And the circuit remains pretty much untouched. It's nigh on the same except for that corner there, which I think is a street later than what it actually is in the game. I've done a lap of the track in a Ferrari in free roam, uh, and there's a comparison that'll be in a, in a minute or two. But yeah, this is literally what the actual track in-game looks like as, uh, as, an, as an event, should we say, with all the checkpoints and whatnot. So, it's a pretty nice track as well, which is quite surprising. I never played this on the original Project Gotham Racing, mainly because I think I used to have a PlayStation, whoops. But yes, so we're going to jump now to uh, some open-world free room gameplay with a Ferrari 360 Stradale. It's the closest I could get to the 360 uh, convertible that they have in the game. So here we are, they're side by side. And we're going right now up towards the castle once again. It's, uh, it seems to have been fixed finally with uh, the construction site uh, scaffolding on the, on the old game on Project Gotham Racing. Now as we can see here, the Ferrari turns right earlier whilst I still have to go forward and then turn right. So the laps get a little bit out of sync here. And I think that's literally the only difference the track has made. We're now going past the castle. Uh, we're going behind it. Uh, we've still got these lovely swooping left, right, left turns you can carry a lot of speed through here. And then you've got this vicious right, which uh, seems to be a little bit more forgiving in Project Gotham Racing. Uh, in, in, in Forza Horizon 4, I did find it to be a slightly more demanding corner. This turn here, I found you can carry a lot more speed than you think you can. Unfortunately, in the gameplay video to the right, the guy crashes out. And then we're going right then back onto the main strip that uh, that is in Edinburgh City Centre. We're going then across the line. So there we go guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this slightly shorter video, I do apologise about that, the longer videos will be back very shortly, I'm just trying to stockpile on, uh, on all my Forza Horizon 4 videos at the moment so we can get lots and lots of content, I'm very excited for this game, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, we've got loads of goodness coming, and yeah, until the next video guys, adios.